Hey, Struggle Lines, and I uh, want to demonstrate um, some new function I added to my function library in Excel. And uh, first off, if you don't know, uh, Excel has a built-in thing to, to parse out data for you. So you'd come in here and you'd highlight the cell. Uh, let me show you, actually, you can see it. This is the contents here. Um, these are actually tabs separating it is uh, what you should be aware of. Um, and then I have pipes, I have commas. Uh, but what you can do is go to the data uh, ribbon and then the data ribbon, do text to columns, make sure you have the cell highlighted, text to columns. And then you, you wanna say delimited, next. And this is what you'd say, what do you wanna delimit on? Um, and it even gives you a little preview here of what, what it's gonna split on. Here, I can put in the other. Great, I, I can hit, I'll just hit finish. And it, and it pushes it all out, breaks it apart, right? Unfortunately, it, uh, hope I can hit undo, oops. Undo, there we go. Let me copy that and put that, I'll put it here for now. Um, Get out here. Okay. So, um, of course, you know, I don't want to manually do that. It is a great functionality. If you know it's there, it's a wonderful thing. If you need to split on commas or tabs or something, um, it's, uh, it's, it's super helpful, but, um, I want to programmatically do this. So, um, I got my little hotkey script here. This, this default settings just has my hotkey to run and relaunch my script and, um, and, and trip it for me to start it basically, as well as the single instance force, of course. And, uh, so let's go ahead and we reload it and launch it And here. So here's a message box showing us what's in there, right? That's what's on this line here. Um, this one here, I'm, I'm of course, connect to Excel application. Um, that's what the one's for. Go watch my other videos on connecting to Excel if you want. That's, uh, I don't want to cover that in this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to comment this out for now. And here, basically, I've I've put my stuff into a function. And I could say, okay, well, what am I connecting to? Make sure you, hey, I already have a pointer at Excel. This is what I'm going to connect to. This is my source range. Um, and with this one can be a range. It can be, you know, a, a group of of cells, um, usually columns. I'm not sure how if it does it in, in rows, but columns. So this could be A1 to A10, right? Uh, and then this, you can actually do a range. However, I wrote it to be just a cell because even if you have a, a group of things selected, you just need to reference the first cell that you want to start it in and it will duplicate the rest of the range for you. Um, and then depending on what you want to split on, in this case, um, if you set it to a one, it'll split on them, parse on them. If it's a zero, it won't. So I want to split on tabs, semicolon, commas. I don't have it this time right now. Spaces, no. Other, no. Even though I piped in the value of the other, um, it shouldn't split on it. So let me um, run this, or launch it, I should say. Now I run it, and notice down here, right? So it just split it here, uh, and this... So it didn't, it didn't split on the commas. It didn't split on the pipes, but notice the tabs, it's broken apart, right? So just cause I'm really lazy, um, that's why I leveraged my clear function, which is in my function library. Um, and let's do a little sleep here so we can see it actually work. So now when I save reload it, it's gonna, otherwise, if I didn't do this, let me go ahead and do that. So you see it, right? So when I rerun this, it's gonna come up and say, Hey, there's already data in that cell. Do you want to replace it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to replace it. So it'd redo it. But, by doing this, now it's gonna it's gonna clear it, wait a second, and then do it, right? And so just for the video demonstration, it's handy to have this in here. I don't have to, even when I'm testing my code, when I was building this function, um, it was annoying to have to go here and clear it every time. So this way I don't have to do that, right? So that's the beauty of it. So let's go ahead and say, let's say we wanted to add a, let's add the commas. So I'm gonna change that to a one. Uh, and let's do the pipes also. So one on both those, rerun it, launch. And there, bam, it's breaking it out, right? The one thing that I, I didn't look into, um, I, it'd be pretty, really, really complicated. So that's why I didn't, and maybe Excel automatically does it. However, there's no easy way that I'm aware of to know how many columns this is going to be. So um, as far as when it parses out, because you're changing on what you're parsing on, um, you know, if you have data anywhere to the right there, um, you know, you may be very hesitant before you do this because it's going to overwrite, at least depending on if you want it, it's going to overwrite stuff. So, uh, just make sure you, you usually start this column into the right or make sure you have a lot of extra columns in between there. Um, but it's super, super helpful functionality in Excel to be able to just have some text data. Even if I'm not doing stuff in Excel, I have some text data and it's, it has multiple things I want to parse on or it has something. And I'm like, yeah, I can do a search replace with a regular expression and site or studio, but Hey, you know what? I can do this really quick and I can actually show anybody, um, in Excel how to do this, uh, in, you know, it's just so much easier. So that's it. Uh,
just wanted to show you. I'm, I've added this to my function library. I'll go and update it here uh, in a bit to make sure it's actually pushed to the web. But hope that helps. Cheers.